there's basically three ways that we can tell the program when to bring the stop loss to break even plus five or plus one or two or six or seven whichever you'd like to to set using ATR so if it moves one average true range now the nice thing about that is that will you know self compensate for different time frames proximity to target I can say hey when this reaches mm, let's say within three pips of our first target bring my stop to break even plus three or we could say hey if it moves a certain number of pips let's say if it moves six pips in our favor or ten pips in our favor or fifty pips in our favor then lock in so that it's no longer can be a loss trade so I'm going to update this right now what we've told it is we've told it you know what when it moves within three pips of our target then move our stop loss to break even plus three pips also you'll notice if I mouse over it it will give me a quick uh, update on what this jet is set for 15 minute setup 555 five, five on the entry and, and first two stops in a one minute risk management is set to aggressive break even pips at three uh, and it will you notice the break even just kicked in so we got within three pips of our target so it it automatically moved our stop loss to our entry plus three pips so we can no longer have a loss on this trade and you'll also notice that it's now risk-free so we've changed to uh, a green we like green and the brighter the green the better uh, but at this point in the game this trade can no uh, can no longer we have no more risk in the trade even if it reversed we'll still take three pips of profit and this stop will hold now until the uh, five minute we get a lower five minute swing high which would then the trade manager would continue to follow down the uh, stop loss according to these parameters that we set in our in our stops right here so that's the risk management when it hits take profit one because we have aggressive it's going to sell two lots which means it will automatically uh, go to it'll skip through this green at one third because there will only it'll take two thirds of the profits and so this this one will then light up up here because there will only be one lot left if we had left it uh, aggressive unchecked and then it would only sell one lot and would show one third of the profits have been taken when it if it would have then gone through and hit the second target then two thirds would light, light up but in this case because we're going to sell both right now once it hits that if it hits it then it'll automatically skip from risk free to two thirds showing two thirds had been taken So we've got the trade managers, the global settings tab, and the system information tab. So if we select the system information tab, it's showing the account, the balance, and it's showing this will update real time uh, with uh, every every minute or so. Every t uh, actually every tick that comes in, it will update. So it shows the margin that's uh, been used up and that's available and the current equity, which is basically your balance plus your profits. Global settings. We've gone through uh, 
link of the path and the key. These are, uh, tell you what these are, entry padding. Basically, when it breaks through a previous support for an entry or an exit, this is how much does it need to break through by for an entry. So you can set this at one pip. Uh, it can be changed for say 0.4 tenths of a, of a pip. Basically this is how far through that support level does it need to penetrate to trigger an entry. Stop loss, same principle. How far does it have to how far does it need to penetrate that target or that stop loss to trigger the stop. So it'll be that number plus the padding. So this also, the, the trade manager takes into account spreads as well because of the way, you know, currencies are traded uh, by using bids and bid and ask prices rather than the last prices. So depending on which direction it's going, it will add the spread or not uh, in addition to the padding here. And the idea is, is you know, we want it to break through a stop level, a support level, or a resistance level by a certain amount before it triggers the entry, not right at that level. And so we add a little bit of padding to it. This is your default lot size that you're trading. And so just keep in mind that it's going to it's going to be that times three. So if we're trading 0.1 in lot sizes and it opens three lots, it'll be 3.1 lots. Money management can come into account here as you get uh, larger accounts. Uh, with conservative, moderate, and aggressive. Right now, at, at aggressive, with a, I believe this is a $10,000 account, it will allow you to trade uh, up to 2.2 of a lot. But for conservative, you would only be trading 0.1 lots. And as the account grows, you can increase that. And if your money management is on, then it'll automatically increase those lot sizes as your account grows, which is important because sometimes psychologically, psychologically it's hard to do that. But as your account grows, it will increase it automatic. As the account shrinks, it'll decrease it automatically. Okay, this is moving down, getting close to our tar profit target. We're at our previous support area right here. As soon as this hits, 